it was a nice day at Jellystone's playground. There, the dog lady Chopper took her duck daughter Yankee Doodle to the playground to have fun. Yankee is scared that she'll be squished in the playground, but Chopper manages to emotionally convince her to try to have fun anyway. Being a neutral mother, Chopper throws Yankee Doodle into a bush before leaving, and Augie, Doggy, and Shag Rug were both having fun. Both Shag and Augie soon meet Yankee, who displays deep fears. And after Yankee fear tooted, Augie and Shag tell her it's okay to toot every day. Yankee Doodle says fear is the only way she can stop herself from getting squished by this world. Attempting to help Yankee with her fears, Augie and Shag take her to Doggy Daddy, but that doesn't work. Next, the three kids go to Jabberjaw and Loopy Day Loop for help, but that doesn't work either. Finally, Augie, Shag, and Yankee went to Peter Potamus, who tries to teach Yankee some anime-style fighting moves, but he lands on her instead. Yankee is taken to Jellystone Hospital, where she is put on a hospital bed. With permission from the two kids, Cindy Bear removes the fear juice from Yankee Doodle and gives some to the kids as a souvenir. After a bandage was put on Yankee's head, she wakes up and she's all cool and rad now. The now radical little duck does some sick skateboard moves before leaving the hospital with everyone behind her cheering. Yankee Doodle then skates at the park but she grows tired of it so she takes her two friends to a scary ramp that ends with a dancing grape ape crushing others with his feet if they're not fast enough. The radical little duck goes down the ramp, but Augie and Shag follows behind to save her. The fearless Yankee Doodle is having a great time, while Augie and Shag now know how Yankee felt when she was a coward. Before reaching Grape Ape's foot, Augie and Shag trick Yankee into drinking her fear juice, causing her to snap back into reality as the three kids try to stop the skateboard. The three kids manage to stop the skateboard on time, but due to foolishly moving while celebrating, they fall and get squished by Grape Ape's giant foot. We cut back to Jellystone Hospital, where Chopper tells her daughter that she didn't want her to push herself this far. But after Yankee was squished, she says it doesn't seem so scary anymore. As for Augie Doggy and Shag Rug, who are also squished, they recommend taking it down a notch and taking a little break. The episode's last part has Dr. Cindy Bear tell them they should rest for a while as they don't have bones left, just dust. That is proven when Augie Doggy herself coughs out dust. The End Thank you for watching, subscribe and more importantly share the channel with the entire world for more episode recaps of cartoons. I'm Jacob Kassarjan and I'll see you later. See ya.